Hello everyone, this is Emily. As you may have noticed, I have been neglecting my channel a little bit. I just barely started a new semester at school and I am taking 19 credits. So it is leaving me with not very much free time, but I am dedicated to um, posting more videos over the next several months and I am excited for the content I have planned. This is a subject I've been wanting to talk about for a long time and I haven't really had the time or want to until recently. I want to talk about Grand Theft Auto V and the controversy surrounding it. So as you know, mothers everywhere have been freaking out because of all the bad things you can do in this game. People are concerned because Rockstar has made it possible for gamers to sleep with hookers, kill civilians, and commit all sorts of crimes. When the game came out, and when it was re-released for next-gen consoles, the conversation was focused on the game. Everybody was talking about how disgusting it is that Rockstar would create a game like this. What I find amusing is that although it is heartbreaking, crimes much worse than what is possible in Grand Theft Auto are happening in the real world every day sex crimes, school shootings, etc. Why is the general public shaming Rockstar for creating a video game when the conversation should really be focused on fixing what is wrong with our society? Grand Theft Auto is, to its core, a representation of what life in the real world is like, the bad and the good. Wouldn't it be some form of censorship to not allow players to use guns? Although there are a lot of bad things you can do in GTA, there are even more fun, exhilarating activities to do. For example, skydiving, flying planes and helicopters, racing cars, exploring in the mountains, and doing crazy stunt jumps. Rockstar, much like the real world, has given us a choice. They have presented us with a bunch of different possibilities and have left it up to us to decide what to do. That is what I love about gaming. It's that you are the decision maker, I understand that you are required to do some questionable things in the campaign, and that is just part of the story. What is important is that we remember this is just a game. What we should really need to be worried about is what is going on in the real world, and decide what we can do to leave it a better place. So that's all I really have to say about that. Thank you for listening. I would love to hear what you think of this subject, so please comment below and let me know what your opinion is. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay footage, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming!